moment I saw you, I knew I had seen the love of my life. All I need now is for you to open your heart and accept my overflowing love. But you seem not to like me at all. What have I done that make you harden your heart against me? I love you, Rachel. I said eagerly, I wait your reply. Love, Charles. I know your names already. I'm Rachel. I, um, I'm just from your host now. Your friends told me that we're going for lectures, so I had to move really fast to catch you here. Look here, Mr. Charles, or whatever you call yourself. Why are you following me about like a fly? Eh? I've told you to stay away from me. Is it by force? No. It's a civilized world. I'm, I'm just trying to, you know, I'm trying to show you how much I love you. you know, I mean, <laughs> which other way will I show you? What, what can I do to prove how much I love you? Jump into the river and drown. Then I would know your ghost is serious. <sighs> Rachel, that's too much. Hey, Helen, please. Look, I, um, I don't know. I just wanted us to talk, you know, get to know each other. Perhaps go for a drink somewhere, you know? Eh? I should follow you to where? What do you take me for, Mr. Charles? How can you just wait, lay me on my way from class and you want me to follow you to where I don't know? All in the name of love. What if you're a ritualist? I'm a clean businessman. I mean, you're every, a lot of people know me in town. I'm, I'm, I'm a computer man. I mean, I, I live clean. It's just a drink. Stay away from you. I've warned you. Stop looking for me everywhere. Rachel, what kind of embarrassment was that now? 
that you're not interested in him isn't enough reason for you to insult and harass him like that. Come on. And who says I'm not interested in him? Uh -huh. Are you? A man has to prove his love beyond all reasonable doubt before I can accept him. That's what my mother told me and I'm sticking to that. Prove what? In this age and time? <laughs> Richard, you're very funny. Sweetheart, that was in your mother's time. Husbands are in short supply these days. I mean, besides, Charles has been declared to you that he's coming to you for marriage and not for a fling. Well, he hasn't told me that. Because you haven't given him the chance to. Rachel, gone are the days when you want a man deep down inside you and you pretend as if you don't want him. If you want a man, you go for him. But I think if you throw yourself at a man simply because he has made a move, he won't have much regard for you in the relationship. Oh yeah? I threw myself at Tony. And up to date, it hasn't affected the relationship. Or has it? It hasn't, for goodness sake. Oh. Well, mm. I'll think about it. Thanks for the advice. Sure. Uh -huh. yeah. What about the ice cream we talked about? Yeah, get cold though. And we can go and have it now. Let's go now, okay? Me, if I get a clean little girl like that, that comes after me. She said, before I do like this, I don't grab her. <laughs> My dear, that's life for you. Different strokes for different folks. Buy a lady a drink. Oh, I'm too glad to see me. Well, I'm happy to see you. I, I don't know. You're the last person I was expecting here. Well, I, I came in to buy ice cream. Then I saw you, so I decided to say hi. Yeah, you did good. Yeah, I want you to meet Femi. Femi is my friend and partner. Rachel, the lady I was telling you about. Oh, Rachel. So you guys were gossiping about me. Mm -hmm. So what did he tell you about me? Five things. He said that he's madly in love with you. But you don't have his time. That if you continue like this, one day he'll kidnap you and lock you up in his bedroom. That way you'll be forced to love. So you're planning to kidnap me? Don't you believe that? That's <laughs> so what can I get you? Anything is nothing. What? Just say it. Okay. Anything soft. Okay. Yes. Strawberry. So what do you do? I'm a student. Studying what? Accountancy. Accountancy. Figures. <laughs> I love Peter's. You know, I've always dreamt of you and I being like this together. It gives me so much joy. But you were beginning to frustrate me with all your moves and I was beginning to give up hope when you emerged out of nowhere. And this is exactly what I've been dreaming about. I'm flattered. But I hope you don't begin to have wrong ideas. I threw myself at you. No, no, no. I was thinking the exact opposite of that. Why it took you this long to say yes? You see, my parents are very strict on such matters. Especially with my father. My last cafe almost put them right. That was my first year in school. So what happened? Something I don't want to talk about. It was a disaster. And since then, I determined to keep to myself until you came and shattered my determination. Well, that's life. You have to love somebody sometime. Well, it's left for you to convince me of your genuine intentions.
my intentions. I just love you and cherish you for the rest of my life. Good day, sir. Yeah. Good day, ma'am. You're welcome, my dear. Make yourself comfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, please get them something to drink. You see, uh, Joy and I are having another honeymoon. You know, we are truly in love. Every day is your honeymoon. <laughs> well, <laughs> we can't all be that lucky now. <laughs> You bet I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm sure you do. <laughs> anyway, I hope uh, you two are not trying to restrict yourselves to mere friendship. <laughs> well, let's talk about love later. <laughs> That's another matter. <laughs> Why are you pushing it? Charles, Charles. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're looking forward to being like us someday. Well, working harder than you think. <laughs> really harder. I came into this tough business. <laughs> so, um, about the shipment I was expecting, um, I came to see if we could have a dual and refreshment thing and, and get it off the wall. Uncle, uh, yes, sir. Uh, get married first. <laughs> <laughs> you should have told me you were bringing me here to embarrass me. What? I thought I meant something to you. Do I, I love you very much? Oh no, you don't. First time I'm meeting a member of your family, and all you could introduce me as is a mere friend. You made me feel so cheap. Look, I'm sorry if you perceive it that way, but you know, it's not really a formal visit. And besides, I didn't want to rush things. Take me back to the hostel. Why are you acting like a baby? I just explained why things happen like that. Take me back to the hostel. Look, my uncle is up there. He might hear this thing. Please. So I know. Good night. Good night. You know, don't you think you're slipping too far? You're almost at the edge. But anyway, <laughs> if um, the mountain comes to Mr. Mo, <laughs> it won't look at the mountain. <laughs> Sleep in peace. I don't want to sleep in peace. I want to sleep with you. That is out of the question. Nobody asks you any question. I just want some action. <laughs> you 
You can have the bed to yourself. I guess I'm safer down here. What's wrong with you? Must have bed for it. Charles, please. Let's not quarrel over this. We are not yet married. We don't have to make love to prove our love for each other. I'm tired of this. This your morality stunt is really beginning to get on my nerves. What's wrong with making love with somebody you love? It is wrong for a woman to give herself to a man who has not honorably made her his wife. That's what my mother told me. And I believe her. Please, if you truly love me, respect my feelings on this. We don't have to be in a hurry. Okay, okay. It's just hard sometimes. But I believe you, okay? I believe in what your mother said. Come back to bed. Okay, I'm sorry. That's why you ran to the room. It's okay, okay, I'm fine. I'm bummed, bro. <laughs> yeah, I like it when you start preaching when I'm about to be. <laughs> but your brother can get help, you know? Yeah, you know? Yeah, sure, sure. You can put my arm around you, right? Yeah? That's not violating anything, right? <laughs> Good idea. Don't let's go to your mother when you know you're in trouble. Oh, can we sleep? Okay. Making noise. You this useless snatcher. You think you can collect my boyfriend and get away with it? This is your mother. <laughs> Did I force him? Look at this fool! Look at this fool! Come to fight me! Why are you living this kind of double dealing lifetime? Before it was Tony and now Henry. <laughs> Hold it! Two of you, if you go on your own, go on your own. Don't, don't say I talk, I, I talk nonsense. Do you hear me? Go, 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 go! Tina! Leave me! Get to a slum girl's point. Really? Uh-huh. Put your jacket. Get dressed. What's wrong? I don't know what is wrong. What do you mean you don't know what is wrong? I've been thinking. Where is this whole thing leading us? Well, isn't it obvious? I love you very much and I want us to spend the rest of our lives together. Then see my parents. Now I will see them at the right time. So what time is it now? Time to play around with me? Now come on Rich, you know this is deeper than that. I'll do the right thing at the right time. Charles, if you're really serious about me, why is it that you don't want my parents to know you? What is wrong with you? I don't understand what this mood swing is for. I think I just want to use you and dump you. No, that's not what I'm saying. I just want us to do things right. I love you, Charles. I need to be sure that this is not just a fling that leads nowhere. I don't want to wake up one day and find out you're no longer there. Okay. We're going to see your parents anytime you choose. When do you want us to see you? Next weekend we'll be fine. Next weekend it is. 
Because you don't like Ali. I won't forget this camera. You know your father loves it. Mom. Yes. I'm expecting a visitor on Sunday. This visitor admits this special announcement. I hope it's not a man. It's a man, Mom. Am I not old enough to have a male visitor? But you know your father's position on this issue. I'm an adult, Mom. And in my third year in the university, I don't know why you and that kid treating me like a child. Well, why don't you tell that to your father when he comes back? Mom, Charles is not just a male visitor. He wants to marry me. You serious, Rachel? I'm serious. Oh, Rachel. So, you've been dating a man and you didn't even think you should tell your mom? I wanted to be sure of his true intentions first, mom. I see. And there was I thinking you were occupied with your studies in school. Of course, mom. I've been occupied with my studies. Really? Really, mom. Will you help me tell Dad? No, you have to tell him yourself. Huh. But not to worry. I'll be right there behind you, okay? Thank you, Mom. But better hold up before your father comes back. All right, Mom. You okay? Honey, mm -hmm. um... There's something very important our daughter wants to tell you. Mm -hmm. Tell her that I'm listening. Um, Dad, uh, there is... Honey, I think what she's trying to say is that um, she's expecting a very important visitor on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Uh, then ask her if I should leave the house for her and her important visitor. No, Dad. Uh, Charles is my fiancé. He wants to meet you. What did she say? Well, she said there's a Charles who would like to meet you. So, your daughter wants to bring a man to come and see me? Yes, but the man wants to marry her. Mm. Is that what they do now in school? Looking for husbands? Come on. Come on, honey. I mean, the man wants to marry her. She should count herself lucky that he even wants to settle down with her. A lot of young girls are not lucky, you know. Well, if that is okay with you, let her bring the man to see me on Sunday. Excuse me. That was so easy, Mom. <laughs> Thank you. It's okay. 
You know your father can be so unpredictable. Oh, thank you, mommy. <laughs> it's all right, it's all right. Just look, make sure he comes on Sunday. Don't disappoint you, mommy. Don't disappoint you. Don't disappoint you. It's all right. do you do for a living young man? Um, I'm a computer engineer. I, my, my company service and, and sell computers to select companies on, all over the nation. Mm -hmm. Computers. So, what has that got to do with uh, love and marriage? Well, um, <laughs> Uh, well, in that respect, sir, I usually allow my my heart to guide me. I, <laughs> I leave the computers alone. <laughs> mm. That's stupid. Don't you know that uh, the heart is the storeroom for all forms of deceptions? Well, I... I, I, I <laughs> if you are Mrs. Susan, that's probably your opinion. And matters like this are debatable. <laughs> so you have even come here to debate with your prospective father-in-law? No, 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 sir. No, not in the least. Um, I, I didn't mean it that way. If, if you misconstrued it um, wrongly, I, I'm sorry. Uh, it's just that I, I thought I was talking man to man. I didn't mean any disrespect. <sighs> well, so far you have not shown me that you know exactly what you want from my daughter. me to ask her hand in marriage and I hope I'll get your consent. For how long now have you known my daughter? Six months. About six months. Mm. Six months. And you think that is enough time for you to define a relationship? Listen, young man. I don't encourage any form of irresponsibility around my daughter. I'm sure she must have told you that. Excuse me, please. Rachel. Sorry. I, I, I don't mean any, any disrespect. I, I just love your daughter very much. Mm -hmm. When I look at her, seeing her everything I, I, I want in a woman, the kind of woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. I'm not irresponsible. I, I, I just want to marry the woman I love very much. Like this? L like this? L like how, sir? Rachel. Rachel, what's the matter? Why is dad embarrassing him like that? He didn't even ask his name. Come on, your father only means well. Dad has just been difficult. How can you say that, Rachel? That's an unfair thing to say. Do you think marriage is a child's play? Or you expected your father to just open up his arms and embrace any man you bring into the house? Mom, 
Charles is not just any man. He loves me and he wants to marry me. Why is that being so difficult? I understand that, but you just have to understand your father, okay? I think we should just go in there and you give him your moral support, okay? That's the way to do it, instead of standing out here. Now, can, can you give me a smile? Come on. Charles? Sir? That's your name, isn't it? Yes, sir, that's my name. Come and sit down. daughter's heart is in your hands. Whenever you're ready, you can come with your people. <laughs> That's very nice. Thank you very much. God bless you. I, I'm so happy. I don't know what to say. My daughter is very dear to me and uh, I want the best for her. I hope you understand that. Perfectly, sir. We love each other very much. It won't be a problem. Thank you, sir. Uh, Roger, entertain your uh, visitor. Thank you. God bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just waiting. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> I can lose enough now. I spent the whole day waiting for you. I would have just had something to eat somewhere. I'm sorry. One of the lecturers fixed an emergency test. That's why I couldn't go to the market on time. So if I developed also while waiting for you to be because of an emergency test, eh? Um, we'll develop closer. Just give me a few minutes. Let me hurry up then. There's something for you to do. It's okay? <laughs>
food is ready. Hmm? I'm not hungry anymore. I'm, I've, eat, I've had some biscuits. I'm okay. See, I prepared your favorite dish. I'm not hungry anymore. I'm fine. I'll eat it tomorrow. Oh, baby, don't do this to me. Uh, you know the quality time I spent cooking oh, that food. Oh, baby, please, even if you don't want to eat much, just have a taste. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Look, you just have to take it easy. My own mother told me that men have a natural tendency to maltreat women. So, I mean, let it not surprise you that even a man that loves you can sometimes be erratic and mean to you. Don't me. I'm confused. Whatever you've done to my friend, you better sort it out fast. Thank you. Without time, out of no time, to cook that meal for you. And that was the kind of thank you you could give me. No problem. I'm sorry, I, I had a terrible day. I took it out on you. It happens to the best of us. I'm really sorry. Please forgive me. Stop crying now. Stop.
Hello, yeah, I'm back. Where are you? I want you to come here now. Right now. Hey, don't call me stupid. Don't call me stupid. I clean this place up myself sometimes. I know what it looks like when I clean it. This is just another result, another fallout of your utter laziness. What have I done wrong now? Eh? Why don't you ever appreciate my little effort? That's the problem. That is where we have a problem here. Your little efforts. Maybe if you begin to put in a little effort, then the, the, the real effort, then maybe I'll, I'll begin to appreciate something. This is not fair, Charles. I took out time to clean this whole place up. I scrubbed the floor, mopped the floor. Can't you see everywhere is sparkling? Sparkling. Okay, one of us in the classes and I'll let you figure out. The problem here is that I put in 100% into this relationship. And if you can't do the same, then we really have a problem. You are the problem. Charles, how could you be so ungrateful? I'm ungrateful. You are the one that, 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 that has no sense of marriage. Look, look at the place you call sparkling. You need glasses. I'll buy you one as soon as possible. Have you told your mom all this? You see, that's the point, Ellen. I can't complain to my parents. Because they've asked me over and over again if I was sure Charles truly loved me. What did they do this your papa self? Larry cannot try such with me or else I go shrunk pepe. Haba! What haven't I done for Charles? If he doesn't want me anymore, why doesn't he just tell me? What kind of talk is that? Eh? He must want you. No be when he don't make you take and go introduce to your parents finish. He won't dodge. No way! Look, Rachel, I think you should just stay away from him for some time. If he misses you for a while, maybe he will appreciate you better. I beg you. That one now old fashioned. My dear, go to his house as usual. Mm? But don't lay your finger on anything. Let him see you, but can feel you. It works like magic. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Wait till you know. Old school. To me, old school. Hey, 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 hey. You didn't hear me? Hmm? I said try it. You mean I mean Fina? tells you? I said try it. It works like magic. Eh? No man, if you try this nonsense with me or else I go break bottles. You didn't hear me? I don't tell you if you like or now you get your... No? I they go my room. I don't tell you finish if you like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. And as I feel... Lay her, eh? Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Uh -huh. I think Fina... Right. What do you think? I don't think so. Anyway, I don't agree with Hashem. I don't. Amy, good morning. Good morning. Oh. Listen, I, um, I soaked some clothes in there. I'm back Please, when you wake up well, let me wash them. Take them to the dry cleaners. I know, but um, they're just a few clothes, just um, on the wears and some personal things. Okay? It doesn't matter. Take them to the dry cleaners. Besides, I just fixed my nails yesterday. What is wrong with you? Since you came in here on Friday, you've not lifted a finger to do anything. Come on, darling. Maybe you've not noticed. At least I've been sleeping. I know what you're up to. I know your plan. You're trying to get me provoked, eh? But you will not succeed. 
get you behind the seat. Up. That's why she's not to do whatever she wants to do. Look, I love that girl. And I really intend to marry her as soon as she's done with school. That's the problem. You propose too soon. She thinks now she means the world to you. But she does. She does. Maybe she does. But she should not know about that now. Otherwise, if she goes on like this into marriage, then my guy, you're finished. I'm older in this business, remember? Different women, different strokes. Oh, yeah? Yes. You see, for her, I know what the problem is. Mm. I have to find a way to regain her love and attention all over again. And the only way is to treat her better. Okay. Yes. yes, yes. That, that, that's the only way out. Uh, and, uh, yeah. I don't think you appreciate what I've been through these past few days. Uh, uh, suit yourself. I have done what I should do. That's not how it plays me. You've seen her one of these soups. You were acting up. So I needed her to come and make you sit up a bit. And I need to jealous factor. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. You mean you brought her here to fight and humiliate me? No, 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 the fighting part. I didn't know it was going to escalate to this point. But you slapped her first. Oh, oh. proportional. I'm sure this isn't gonna work at all. See, you're acting like a kid again. This is the problem I have to Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't you know that the deepest hurt you can inflict on a woman is the bruise I measures? Don't you know? I'm good to adjust the setup. I wanted her to sit up a bit. You did it the wrong way. But what was I to do? I had to make her lose all that bad happy she started with. What do you want, Charles? A perfect woman or the right woman? I wish. She could be a little bit more domesticated like your wife. Enough. What do you know about my wife? Don't you ever compare your woman with any other woman because no two relationships are ever the same. Now tell me, do you really love that girl? I could give him the chance. I'll die for her. And she? <laughs> I think she would die for me before I die for her. <laughs> Love is the nucleus of any good relationship. You must 
learn to understand that girl and guide her with love. Rachel's a good girl. Open your eyes and you'll see her true qualities. That's deep. That's really deep. But I'll try. I can always run back to my castle. Thank you. Let me have her phone number so I can also talk to her. Thank you very much. Um, that'll be on zero eight zero six seven eight. Um, but uh, you have to call her in the evenings. That's right. I think she's back from lectures and all that. Okay. Um, six seven zero five five four eight one. I don't know why you like treating me like a piece of land. Nothing I do ever pleases you. Come on, baby. No, that's not true. So maybe I expect too much, you know? All I want is for us to be together. I'm trying my best. I know I haven't been the perfect woman you want. But I'm always willing to learn. I love each other. You know what? <laughs> well, um, so I also want you to discuss um, the marriage rights just before I go home. I am proposing that instead of going to the village um, repeatedly, why, why don't we bring the whole ceremony down to Lagos? At least that way to save us time, not to mention a lot of money. And then when we're done, we can always um, you know, bring the village people over when we're ready to do the big wedding. What do you think, sir? So you are suggesting that I give away my daughter to you without informing my kingsmen? No, no, no. They'll be informed, sir. But mm -hmm. I'm just saying this is a way of um, cutting down the repeated visits to the village, which I honestly, sir, deem as um, unnecessary. Mm -hmm. Yes, because, I mean, we can bring all the ceremonies down here, get it over in one sweep, and then during the big white wedding, we can invite the village people over. <laughs> Now I can see that your generation has lost focus. At your age, you don't know the essence of going to the village to do the marriage rites. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. What you people call modernity is absolute nonsense. It's moral and societal decadence. If we don't go to the village, how would I know if we have blood relations? My dear Charles, what my husband is saying is right. You know, some years back, two of our village members living in the United States met themselves and got married there. Only for them to come back and found out that they were cousins. By then, they had already given birth to a deformed child. Jesus, my friend, leave Jesus out of this. Were you not the one suggesting to me that I give you my daughter free of charge in Lagos? If we don't go to the village, how would I know if you have madness and epilepsy running in your blood? No, 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 people are healthy. We have a healthy pedigree at home. If we don't go to the village, how would I know if the rest of your relations are arm robbers and prostitutes? My people are really responsible people, sir. I don't see the need for Sorry, sir. Um, sorry, I even suggested it. You know what? I think I see the broader picture now. It's, it's, it's best to go to the village. In 
fact, we can go to the village as, as many times as you deem fit. That's better. Better. But, well, um, as we were saying... I, I'm, I'm really sorry to interrupt you, but I have an appointment. I have a client waiting about this time. I really want to visit. It's a big client. Oh, but you must finish your wine before you leave. No, it's okay, ma. I'll, I'll, I'll take a wait check. I'll, I'll, I'll have to run right now. Mm -hmm. And then we're really interested. Wedding gown, 550,000. This is crazy. What is it made of gold? I'm ordering from Vancouver. Well, baby, it doesn't matter if it's from Vancouver, man. The, 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 the money is too much for just one wedding gown. Ah, come on. It's reasonable. Look, you know what? You know I'm good at this, yes? I'll find your wedding gown. Nice one, good designer, and that's it. Go on to the next one. What how can you a man decide on my wedding dress? It's not done. Babe, we're changing all the rules, okay? Come on, if you spend 150, I mean 550 on one, one wedding gown, how about the rest? Look, just try and understand. I'll, I'll find you something good. It, it, let's be a little cheaper for crying out loud, okay? Please. Mm -hmm. You assured me money is not the problem. Well, I didn't say well, we have to throw it away. 550 on one wedding dress is waste, trust me. I know how I'll get you a beautiful wedding dress. Hey, we'll try another design, it doesn't have to be are you saying money spent on my wedding dress is a waste? No, I'm not saying. I'm, saying, I'm just saying try and be a little more reasonable. Okay? But well, Charles, this is not fair. So I am the one who deserves to wear a cheap dress on my wedding day. Or do you think I don't know that your suit is going to be much more expensive than the wedding dress? Even your best man's suit is much more expensive than, than, than the bride. Okay. Just for the bride, because it's not like that. But okay, okay, I don't want to fight. 550 from Gucci or Gucci, no problem. What's the next one? Okay, what is the final figure? 1.5 million? 1.5 million for, for just you? What about the rest of the people? It's too much, baby, come on. Honey, it's not too much. <laughs> Look at all the people we invited. They're coming to check the quality of what we're putting on and all that, you know? And you know women actually spend more on wedding preparations than the men. You understand what I'm talking I'm about? I'm just that. Don't worry, man. You've got to replenish, okay? Don't worry, okay? I understand. They just hope we don't live in the streets after this. Oh, come on. You can't live on the streets, oh, baby. But this is the biggest reason to be in the streets. After that, after the streets are right. Okay. Hey, hey, I'm not sure forgetting something. Have a good day. Take care. Yeah, this is what I'm doing about me. Oh, come hey, on. Don't say that. that. Take this chance, I'll take a try. True love cannot be broken. Oh, no, 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 you no, bring no, me so no, much joy. And this is why, why I why, love you so much, darling. Yeah, baby, yeah. And I love the way you love. You Let's take this chance and try. True love cannot be broken. Oh, you bring me so much joy. Excuse me, mister, would you listen? Let me tell listen to you. me, darling. I'm a woman, and a woman needs a man to love. Ooh. I don't need your money and all those things you buy me. Yeah. I don't need those comments. I don't need your comments. Whoa. Excuse my ventings, but boy, I'm only human. I need a man who can understand the way I'm I want you to go. Listen, I really have to go, you know? 
the honeymoon is over and I have to get back to work. Okay, I'll call you as soon as I get to yours. No, I don't want your call. It's you I want. Mm -hmm. That's right. Thank you, baby. Okay, I promise I'll be back as soon as possible. Promise? With all my heart. Okay. Don't you forget this already. Mm -hmm. mm -mm, not just that. You forgot to tell me something. Oh! I love you more than life itself. I love you too, honey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you keep that beautiful bottle warm for daddy I'll be right back, okay? I will. <laughs> Have Just a wonderful day at work. Talk it Bye. Bye. Bye, baby. Bye, baby. Stay tight. Plant it here for good luck, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right. Bye. I will not lie, I will not lie. I don't want to be so lonely. I want to be with you, my love. I'll take this chance I'll take and try. True love cannot be broken. Oh, you'll bring me so much joy. And this is why... Where do you think you're going with the car key? I'm going to pick Kinsley up from school. Take a taxi. Honey, why? Because I said take a taxi. I bought that car because you refused me using any of yours. And now I cannot even use my own car to go and pick my own son up from school? Offense number one. You bought that car without my permission. Offense number two. Since you bought that car, you have found all manner of excuses to gallivant about town posing car owner competing with me? Let me warn you. If you are not careful, I will sell that car and do something more useful with the money. Femi, I'm your wife. Mm. You don't expect me to go around in taxis when we have three cars in this compound. Femi, I bought that car with my money. With my own salary, with my own savings. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank God you know you are a wife. And I am the husband. That means I own you. I own your kid. I own your money. I own your salary. I own your savings. I own your car. Consequent upon that, I decree as the man of this house. I decree and command you to drop that key and pick a taxi. Bad your horn on me. Huh? What are you doing all alone by yourself? Huh? Well, watching TV, which is my one. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Mm, what have you not know, I have a surprise for you. Hey, I know. I know. You better be careful. I know. Honey. 
What's wrong? Mm. You're not happy. Nah, nothing. It's just that, um, congratulations. But I, I thought it was um, a pregnancy check. It's okay. You must always remind me of that. I'm sorry. That, that, that. Why do you always make me feel as if I was the one responsible for the miscarriages? I'm, I'm really sorry, but naturally, you know, when a woman hands her husband this kind of like that, that's the first thing. I'm sorry. Okay. But, but, but we discussed you weren't going to go for this job. Well, why did you go for it? What am I doing at home? Past eight months have been boring. I didn't study accounting for nothing. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Mm -hmm. For a start, mm -hmm. I'm going to be paid 180,000 naira. Mm -hmm. Not bad for starters. I could, could ask for more, but it's okay. It's not good. But hey, I hope this will not make you neglect your family responsibilities, okay? I need to be taken care of. Oh, don't worry. With good planning, everything will be fine. Mm -hmm. I'll get the house help. How about that? Yeah, okay. As far as it works out well, okay. Me too, yeah. Okay. Now, why don't you go inside and change? Let your wife take you out for a celebration. And that's what I'm talking about. That is what, that, something was missing. This is what was missing. <laughs> we need to celebrate on somebody else's bill. You know, at least uh, this is making up all the when I think of a wedding gown. Yeah. You don't have to remind me. You know, this kind of celebration, mm -hmm. My purse is loaded. Your purse is loaded. Hey, 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 Scrub the floor, mop it, and dust the furniture, okay? Don't forget to water the flowers. Yes, ma'am. One last thing. I don't want to come back and find you jumping around the compound. Do you understand that? Yes, ma'am. Look, I step out of my house for a minute and you, and you throw my house into a disco hall. No, sir. Where did you get that from? I brought it from a neighbor, sir. You heard the wrong things from the... Look, bring it. Bring it. Step out, don't be fond of you. Get out of your mind. Where's my wife? She went to do her hair, sir. She went to do her hair and you're dressed up like that? Don't you have anything decent to wear in this house? I have some. Get out of here. Go and get changed. Wear something to sell my house always. If I catch you dressed up like this again, believe me, that would be the last time I want you in this house. Go and get out. Sorry, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, please don't tell me that. Get yourself from here. Go do it yourself. I'm going to get that woman changed. Okay. Change. What did she do? God, my house is absent. Look, look at this small demon. One is a buck like this one turns out to be, to, to be a striptease pro. What the hell is happening here? Where does she get this kind of people from? Um, well, from the tests conducted so far, um, there's no doubt that you and your wife are perfectly alright. Well, that's reassuring, Doctor, but. Um... How do you explain the recent miscarriages? She's had two um, in the early stages of pregnancy. And um, 
recently she's not been able to conceive despite my efforts. Um, that could actually be the problem. Uh, you know, early miscarriages are induced. You know, it could be intention and anxiety. So why don't you both try to ease the tension? You know? Perhaps you work too hard. You know, so try and take things easy. I'm sure everything will be all right. Well, on that score, Doctor, you're right. My wife and I are extremely hardworking, and um, I think we live <laughs> in a very tension-filled environment constantly. So you see, uh, I do need to tell you that uh, you must uh, calm down. You know, uh, there's no problem. Actually, your cases are very easy. Just one year. I've seen cases of uh, 10 years and above who eventually bear children and live happily. So there's nothing to worry about, actually. You're okay. Thank you, Doctor. It's my job. I will run along now, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. Right. Just uh, don't allow anything to be stopped. Alright. Bye. Alright, alright. Take it easy, huh? Said, get out. The madam never come back. I'm aware of that. Now get out. Then I leave me a new day, house. Okay, you know, like me. No. Why don't you want to tell me what she has done? Lulu has been a nice girl. She takes good care of the house, does the laundry. I, mean, I can't just send her packing like that. Hey, you, have to, you have to really trust me with this one. That girl has to leave first thing tomorrow morning. I know what I'm saying. I don't understand you. Hmm. We should be able to have confidence in each other. Enough confidence in my judgment. Some truths are better than told. That guy has to leave this house. Just trust me. Okay, maybe I'll tell you later, but not now. Okay? Well, if, if that is what you want. Look, no more house calls for now. Let's just manage on our own, okay? I know what I'm saying. Okay. Come to me. That you wanted to eat. What's that supposed to mean? I should write a special application letter to you before I will eat in my brother's house? That's not what I mean. Since I'm at home, you should have told me that you wanted to eat instead of coming to take soup from my pot of soup. Your soup pot? The soup you cooked with my brother's money? Eh? I should beg you first before I will eat. You are not serious. Ever since I came into this house, your body has been peppering your erasure. Leave my kitchen. Don't insult me. Oh. I should leave my brother's kitchen. Before that will happen, Rachel, you will leave this house. You will leave this house. Are you 
you talking to me like that, Mama? After all, what do you have to show in all the things you've been enjoying here? What is happening? What is all this shop? It's right as decide to leave your house for you. Why? I don't know. There's nothing she has not told me. There's nothing she has not told me. That I came to steal food in her house all because I want to eat. But she couldn't have said that to you. That's not true. So, but I'm lying. Hey, you are taking side with your wife against him, isn't it? Now I know that she's really the husband in this house. My friend, will you shut up? Are you out of your mind? Who are you talking to? What really happened? I only told her that since she wanted to eat, she should have told me instead of coming to take soup from my pot of soup. What is wrong with that? So why didn't you ask her? Isn't that proper? Shut up, I'm leaving. I'm leaving this house for you and your husband. Look, it's okay, alright? Just put the food back. When she's hungry, she'll come to the proper room. to your wife. Uh -uh. Say all the problems she has because, because of food, brother. Food. Your wife wants to keep me in your house. No. Brother, imagine. I came to eat in my brother's house. I came since yesterday I have not eaten. Bro. And when I went to the kitchen to collect food, the wife wants to kill me because of food. She didn't I'm want to going. kill you. You should ask her before you go to, the, to her port. It's, it's a normal thing. Don't ask mama when you want to go to the port. Uh, leave your going. Okay, come. Let me drop you. Yes, sir. So my guy. I just don't know. I'm used to her craziness. There's no other ranting that's actually upsetting me. The point is that she will go home now and actually paint an entirely different version from what happened. But you see, I have always warned you. You give your wife too much liberty in your house. Your sister mustn't be a saint. As a young girl. Ready to go, accommodate her and your wife. That's it. Well, my wife was doing the proper thing. She should ask her if she wants to go to her kitchen. Oh, the right thing. How would you know she was wrong? The way both of you live, it's obvious that your wife is in charge. Don't you know when you give women such freedom, they ride you like a horse? Look at my wife. She is very submissive. Because she knows that I am in charge. She dares not try any nonsense between my mother, my brothers, and my sisters. Look, I don't know. I only know that marriage should be based on mutual trust, understanding, love, and above all respect. That does not stop you from being a man. Be a man, Charles. Don't allow any woman put asunder you and your family. After all, she was not there when they suffered to bring you up. That will be our company's chief accountant. Mr. Albe, our company chief accountant. Look, don't you know you're a mad woman, Rachel? So wait, 
You allow a man to bring you into your matrimonial home. Don't you have any shame? For Christ's sake, Charles, Mr. Obi volunteered to drop me. Since I couldn't go to the office with my own car, what's wrong with that? Don't you have female colleagues that can drop you? I've been to your office, I saw a lot of women on cars. No, no, it has to be Mr. Obi, the accountant. What's the big deal? So you won't gallivant all over town with another man, eh? Charles, what are you insinuating? Are you accusing me of cheating on you? God knows my answer are clean. I'm not insinuating anything. Your conscience is judging me. Only you know where you're coming from. Charles, how could you say this? Look at the problem she caused between my family and I, just because she can't pay for us legal excesses. But you already told me Fama was at fault in all that happened. I know all that. But Rachel should try and be a little bit more submissive. Why can't she be as submissive as other wives? So, this is what this whole thing is all about. Oh, come on. You disappoint me, Charles. Uh, haven't I told you never to compare your wife with any other woman? Haven't I? It is obvious that you listen to stupid advice from outside. Now tell me sincerely. Are you happier now with the way things are between you and your wife? Are you? You see, you see what I mean? Don't you see my note that said, wake me up 7 a.m. sharp? Of course I woke you up. Didn't you see my own note too? Wake up. It's past 7. What kind of note is this? How loud? Don't you ever give. I'm sorry for keeping manners for so long. I missed you. Hey, what am I seeing? Tina! Oh my God! Don't waste time, Tina! You 
disappeared into thin hair after graduation. My dear. No contact at all. Ah, oh, Fina, that was very bad of you. I'm sorry, my dear. The protocol carried me go. Ah, yeah. But I'm now back to Lagos, live and right. Hey, my God. So good to see you again. Uh, my dear, I heard Eileen is now married and stays in London with her husband. Yes, yeah, so she got married to James at last. My God. Hey, she's so lucky. See, we went and married husband now. God will provide. Hey, hey, what happened to that guy, Ade? The guy that wanted to marry you. That one that turned me into a punching bag. Me, I left him. I left him before you'd serve yourself. Me, I know that the Lord that I'm serving will surely give me my own husband at the right time. Me, I know he will surely do it for me in Jesus' name. Hey? you. Now, oh, wow. Hey? Look at you. Ah! Marriage really suits you. Have you, my sister. I thank God, but it's not been easy at mm. all. You married people, you always complain, and yet you blossom and glow in your matrimonial homes. You don't understand, Fina. Look at me. Two years of marriage, no issue. Only miscarriages. Oh, yeah. I hope Charles is not stressing you about it. You know how men are. One moment, he's nice and understanding. The next one, he is something else. Ah, what you want come better now? Now make person remain spinster, I will make person marry. Wahala everywhere. There's something you need to know urgently. Mm, say it, I'm all ears. <clears throat> you see, I've always liked you. I couldn't prevent you from the trap you're into now. You were so much in love with Rachel. And I didn't want to hurt you. Look, I'm really at a loss. I mean, what are you talking about? It's been to be very difficult. Why don't you just say it? Okay. Okay. Alright. Do you know why your wife cannot give you a child? What rubbish are you talking about? There's a deep secret she's keeping away from you. Do you know anything about my wife? Ah. Ah ah. We're schoolmates. We're in the same school together. I knew everything about her. <laughs> um, I can't tell you more than this. You ask her, I'm sure she will tell you. She will fill you with the rest. Mm -hmm. There's a deep secret. She should be able to tell you. Just ask her, she will tell you. Thank you. Okay, I'm taking it to you. Okay. Drive safely, yo. Hey, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
know what you're talking about. And if you would excuse me, I need some rest. You know, I just got back from work. I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. You deceived me into this marriage, knowing damn well you're not capable of having kids. Charles! How can you make such an accusation against me? Then tell me the truth. What are you hiding from me? Why can't you give me a child? I am not hiding anything from you. And you know it. The doctor says I'm alright. What else do you want to hear from me? Tell the doctors! What do they know? You've had two years of childlessness. Two wasted years. What is the secret you're keeping from me? Tell me! Why do you like doing this to me? Who's been feeding you with lies against me? But nobody's done with lies. And those crocodile heels don't impress me now. What's wrong with you? Nothing is wrong with my woman! Oh yes you did! You did something with your woman! You think I will find out? <laughs> First, let's go to my bedroom so that you can relax, okay? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, baby boy. Uh -huh. <laughs> Come on, let's uh -huh. go. You will go home, uh -huh. but first, just go and relax with me. Uh -huh. Okay? Uh -huh. Sweet boy. Uh -huh. Just take it easy. Uh -huh. First, let's be safe. <laughs> oh, baby boy. Oh, baby. Uh -huh. Hey, Tina! 
What a surprise! When did you come? Not quite long. He's been keeping me company. Oh. Sorry, honey. I'm late. How is work today? Oh, hectic. Can you give me a few minutes? Oh. Let me change you to something more comfortable. Okay. I'll join you soon. <laughs> That's obvious. I know. <laughs> Sleeping in the guest room. Well, since you refuse to tell me what blocked your womb, I don't think it's proper we share this in bed anymore. You don't know what that accusation has done to my feelings. Well, it's the same feeling I have. Been having a child for two years. Now please leave me alone. Leave me alone. Come off it, Charlie. You know it's not your wife I've come to see. I've come to see you. Get out. Too bad. You can no longer push me out of your life, you know. <laughs> you are now part of me, and I am part of you. Oh. Here is the result of a little fun together. I'm pregnant. Mm. Come on, aren't you happy? At least you're going to have a baby. You've longed for it. <laughs> and I'll give it to you, honey. I'm so glad. <laughs> anyway, let me give you some time to digest the news. And I can call you later so that we can discuss it, honey. Okay? <laughs>
you're trying to pin this on me, right? You're trying to pin this on me. You think I ruin my family, huh? For goodness sake, I'm not trying to blackmail you or pin you down. For goodness sake, I'm pregnant for you. But the sooner you go and find the father of that bastard you're carrying, the better for you. I'm not carrying a bastard. I'm carrying your child. I mean, if I mean you bastard. should you should be happy that you you, you 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 become a father. This shows that you're a man. Look, I love my wife. Don't you get into your thick skull? You can't separate my wife and I. Okay? Now, this is nothing. Any opportunist like you can walk into a hospital and bribe a doctor and come up with a pregnancy with her. You well know I'm not the father of that child. Charles, can't you see that Rachel is the problem? I'm pregnant for you. Why, why would I, for goodness sake? You are the problem. You are the homebreaker. And believe me, I'm going to fight you to the very last. You will not break my family. Don't even complain to me. Stand where you are. You understand me? Don't even think about it. And when you're done playing all your skimish games, I just put you to keep us upon to tell you that you feel.
It's only one that knows the father of unborn child. And she's telling you are the father. Okay then. I want to carry my grandchild now, Kelly. You see, it's not long enough. Eh? But mama, it's nobody's fault. Children will come at God's time. I would rather remain childless than hook up with our opportunities. Look, brother, if you don't accept this child now, I'm going to regret it because you don't even know how long your wife's married. Please well, shut up! What's your opinion here? Look at this thing. Look, I know what you both of you are holding. I don't want a second wife. Rachel is only my, is the only legitimate wife I know that's period. Now I can see you're under a spell from that witch. I'm talking, you're talking. But what's that? Mean? That's why no man wants you. With this kind of attitude, we don't marry you. You're going to die this place down with this Leave. 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 You guys marry that one. I'll turn up her. Is that a sign of love? Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't know how I got myself into this mess. Look at you begging for forgiveness. When another woman is carrying your baby, she tricked me. I, I'll make it up to her. I love, I love Rachel. Please, just give me another chance. Charles, if someone had told me that you would treat my daughter the way you did, I would not have believed it. I'm sorry, man. Sorry? Sorry, you say? Let me tell you something. My daughter is going to have a baby. You and your family cannot disgrace her forever. Except my God is asleep. Please, Mama, my niece, please forgive me. I, I, I love my wife. I just want to see her. Give me another chance. Please shut up! How dare you come here to say a word that you know nothing about? How dare you? Now get out! Out of my house now! Charles, out! No, sense. Can you imagine that?
to you. Yes. What he said. Yes, ma'am. You need to treat him nicely. Hmm? Warm yourself into his heart. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Wow. Don't tell that. Sweet. Sweet. Put this ready. Put this ready. Charlie, you heard what she said. Food is ready. Eat something before you. Mama, stop scheming. You know me too well. All this will not work. The only thing that will work is for her to get out of this house before I get back from work. Otherwise. Charlie. It will work out. Just keep pressing. He will not resist for too long. Hmm? Just keep. Why have you not come to me? When you and your husband's brother sat in the village and took a decision to destabilize yourselves family, did you remember me? Now that you have chased him out, you expect me to go and perform. Really, why are you talking like this? Is it wrong for me to ask whether my son going to claim his child? Any woman who can betray her best friend like that girl cannot make a good wife. Then let his good wife give me a grandchild. I don't like the way you're talking. Anyway, it's all Charles' fault. If he had behaved himself like a responsible married man, he wouldn't have been a fugitive in his own house. Really, please. If you know where my son is, tell me. How can he just run away from his house like that? Eh? How can my son abandon me like that? Why? Is it a crime for me to have asked for a grandchild? Is it? It is not a crime. But you and I know the traditional way of claiming such a child if you want to. But I will not support you imposing that girl on Charles as a second wife. God said, he's con you see, that, that, that girl's continuous presence in that house can only complicate issues for Charles and his wife. Okay. I will go. But please help me look for myself. I don't want anything to happen to him. Please. Will you please help me? Well, I don't think anything has happened to him. So don't just bother. Don't worry yourself. I'm sure he's fine whatever he is. Okay? I stayed long enough in this house. And Rufina, the owners of the house have abandoned us. I don't want to die of hunger in Lagos. Let me go back to the village and face my little business. Hmm? Mama, what will happen to me and my baby? Oh, go back to your mother. Stay with her. When things improve, we'll come back for you. Hmm? Mama. Mama, Mama. Mama. You're leaving too? Yes, I have to leave. Let me go back to the village. Let me join Mama. This is your husband's house. I just have to stay and wait for him. Yes. Let me go and leave him. Me pain, 
so much I can bear. Tears like rain, all I feel is shame. Oh, it's my heart, you break it all again. Talk to me, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, okay? I'm really sorry, I regret what I did. I'm sorry. You I'm... know, you're really lucky that her father is not in here to meet you. I don't think he would have appreciated your presence. It's only God that can save our young girls from men like you. Rubbish. I actually had to go in there to get it out. So it was, it was the result, sir. Uh, why don't you sit down? I'm fine the way I am, doctor. Just give me the result, sir. Well, the test result shows that uh, you are actually the owner of the pregnancy. <laughs> oh, doctor, thank you very much. We're really happy about it. Uh, well, I have an emergency to attend to. You please excuse me. And uh, please close the door when you are leaving. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Like I said, I'll accept the baby. From now on, was you get a, a weekly upkeep of some sort to keep you and the baby going. After you had him or her, I firmly claim it. And I don't want you to ever come near me again. Buy some stuff. Are you okay? I'm fine, Mama. You're sure? Okay. When uh, your father said, Go, Rachel! George! Uh, Rachel! Come on, Rachel! Talk to me, it's Mama. Are you okay, Rachel? Oh my God! Oh! Zachary! Zachary! 
Somebody help me! Neighbors, please! So, Rachel, please talk to me. It's Mama, baby. You're gonna be fine. <laughs> Rachel, Rachel, it's Mama. Just listen to me, okay? Look at me. Look at me. Look at your Mama, please. Please, Rachel, my baby. It's okay, Rachel. It's all right, okay? You knew all this while that you were pregnant. And you didn't even tell anybody. The day I knew was the same day I found Fina's pregnancy test result. But Rachel, you should have at least told me. I mean, look at this. What if you had lost the baby? What is the use, Mama? Another woman is carrying his child. He doesn't love me anymore. It's okay. How can my child share the same father with another woman's child? Rachel, <laughs> you just have to listen to me, okay? It will be all right. But you have to tell him. You're his wife and not the other woman. I'm confused. I don't know anything anymore. Just come on, baby. It's all right. Okay, just take it easy, okay? Things will work. Mr. Oju. I am sure if you had a daughter going through such experience, you would feel as bad as I am. I am angry. I am not happy. You're right, Mr. Oji. You have cause to be angry. I insisted on your presence because I know the role you played in trying to ensure my daughter's happiness with the husband. When my daughter first introduced her nephew to me, I saw a bit of foolishness in him. But I saw some sparks of love in his eyes. So, that was why I allowed him to marry my daughter in the first place. Was I wrong in my judgment? Come on, Mr. J, you're not wrong. You're not. You see, what Charles did is condemnable. But it can't be undone. This young man is this. Ah! Please. Forgive him, please. Please. Uh, Charles. For how long have you waited for a child from your wife? About two years. Two years? Yes. And you feel that is too long a time for you to wait? Just look at yourself. Now, take a good look at your wife. She could have lost this baby because of the Pains and frustrations you cost her. You see, Charles, you don't ever force the hand of God. I didn't know she was pregnant. I didn't know. I didn't know she was pregnant. God, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Evil, we just keep on tolerating them, you know. Uh, yeah, what can a man do? <laughs> we need them. But come, Steve, listen, listen, listen. Uh huh, Siva. If she wants to go beyond her boundary, just shake her, carry her, shake her, come back to position. Yeah, man, be in charge, be in charge. We're waiting, man. We're waiting, man. Yeah, man. Don't shake it. Don't shake it. Yes. Please, uh, after much, you're about to. Yeah? What is the okay. meaning of this? Uh, 
I'll meet you there, no shakings. I said, what is the meaning of this rubbish? This is your letter of resignation. That means you don't work there anymore. Why? Did I tell you I want to stop working? Um, I thought as your husband, um, the job is beginning to get into your head. So I thought you should resign because you buy a car, you do this, you do things the way you want to do them. And uh, you forget that you are a housewife that has plenty of work to do at home. Well, I thought that Femi, you stop that work. You have ruined my life enough. I will not sit down here and watch you ruin my life for me. The only thing that gives me joy, Femi, you have taken it away. I will not sit down here and watch you do that. If you know how you did this, go back to my office, take your stupid ass back there and go and undo it. Hey! Me. Femi Adeyinka. I think we live. How are you? I hear me. Stupid ass. I said you, stupid ass. Don't even look, Femi. Don't think about it, Femi. Don't think about it, Femi. Femi, don't think about it. Femi, don't think about it. Femi, don't think about it. Femi, Femi, I will kill you in this house. Don't. Kicks me. Make a deal. Don't. Yay. Baby. That's a little early. It's supposed to be her childbirth. And um it's supposed to be her mother that for you. I know all that. I know. I'm also her mother. Ain't it? I'm also your mother. Hey! Look, your mother can join me later. It's all the same thing. I just want to be here when my first grandchild will be delivered. Eh? Hey. Yeah, baby. So um how's the farm and the home people before? Mm, they are fine. Someone has a suit on now. Really? Uh, one man from Cameroon. Cameroon? Uh -huh. As if you don't know your sister. Does she behave like other people? When you see her, you will talk with her. Well, it doesn't really matter where the man is from. As far as they love each other. <laughs> well, I think Cameroon is too far. Charlie, it's not the former's case that brought me here. This is what brought me here. And I'm here. Mama, come, I want to be alone with my wife.
doctor has the baby and the mother. <clears throat> Mr. Curry, we did try our best, but we lost the mother. She lost too much blood. She actually did put up a fight, but the pains were just too much for her. The baby is all right. She's doing fine. Phyllis dead. I'm very sorry. She's dead. Can I see the baby? Oh, sure. Let's go. Fina is dead. Fina is what? She's dead. How? When? What, what happened? She died at childbirth. I was at the hospital. The baby survived. Oh my God. She's at the hospital and I don't know what to do now. Fina is dead. Fina is dead. Oh God. She's all right. She's thank perfect. God. Thank God. Thank God. Wow. Thank you, doctor. You don't know how to live right now. Can I see them? Not now. I see them. Okay. Okay, doctor, you're sure they're fine. Oh, everybody's fine. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'll see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a father. I just got to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks.
I'm about to ask you the near impossible. But I want you to do me a favor. A big one. What favor? That girl is my child too. My daughter. And this healing process will not be complete if we don't take her along. Okay, and I just want to ask you, you to find somewhere in your heart to love her like her own son too. My father recently told me that anger has its limit. I intend to release my heart and allow it to find its freedom. I should also take part of the blame for allowing such a character like Vina to come close to me. I believe we both learned our lessons. I love you, Charles. Yeah. <laughs> 